So you can see he's panting. But that's just because it's a little bit warm. Good boy. Still probably not, not much above 70 degrees. Good boy. But dogs don't sweat like we do. They don't cool off. Good boy. Quite like we do. Good boy. But I accidentally stepped on his tail because he cut in front of my legs. Good boy. You're okay. And it scared the life out of him. Good boy. You're all right. You're all right. Good boy. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just going to turn to where I'm pacing him just a little bit more. Come here. Good boy. You come here. Yay, Einstein. Yay, sweet baby. Yay, sweet baby. Good boy. I'm sorry I stepped on your tail. Do you forgive me? Do you forgive me? Good boy. This is the most comfortable he has been with me yet. I'm very, very impressed and I'm very, very honored that he's letting me pet him like this. Good boy. And if I do look at him, I tell him he's a good boy and I smile at him. Good boy. Good boy. Yes, you are, sweet baby. Yes, you are. Good boy. And obviously we're not sitting in the road. We're back in my driveway. Good boy. Good job. Can I get you to get any closer to me? No. You come in here. He hears. He hears something. Good boy. Einstein. You come right here. Yay. Yay, Einstein. Yay, that makes me so happy. Good boy. Good boy. This is his cool down. Good boy. So he is panting, but notice he's not panting like really hard. He's not. <laughs> that right? Yeah, good boy. Good boy. He's just panting because he's a little bit warm. Good boy. He may be a little bit anxious, but he's not near as anxious as he has been with me. Good boy, you're all right. He says, I'd much rather keep walking towards back to where, yep, back to where you know the car is. I know. We're going that way. You've worked so hard today. You've worked so hard today. Good boy. We're just going to sit here for another couple minutes. I'd like to see if I could get him more over there. Hi. Which I know I can. You come over this way. And I'm just kind of beckoning with my... Sorry, there you go. I'm beckoning with my fingers. Einstein, I might even... You're okay, look. I want you to walk in front of me. Hi, can you come this way? And I'm going to pat the ground. Good boy, can you come this way? Hi. No, you want to be right next to me? That's fine. Good boy. Good boy. And we're going to do this again when we're in my driveway. Like the actual driveway, not just the private drive. Yes, you sweetheart. You're okay. I'm just going to stand up nice and easy. I'm going to stand up as straight as I can without that bag flopping around because I know that freaks him out. Easy. I'm going to take the knot out of this leash. So I'm going to give you another really good shot of the sky here. Nice, beautiful tree canopy. There we go. Good boy. You're okay. He's walking in circles. Hi. You're all right. We do all right. I'm going to wait until we're not fidgeting around. Good boy. I know he's going to walk on the right side. Good boy. I know I want him to walk on the right side. Good. Whoa. Good. Okay, let's walk. He stopped. He made eye contact with me. I said, all right, here we can go. Good boy. I'm just going to let him can I have as much leash as he wants. I have an O-ring on my loose. It's kind of dragging on the ground there. I put just a little bit of hand on it so it doesn't drag and scare him. Good boy. Good boy. And he worked so, so hard today. He's such a good boy. So, a lot of the times, well, always, I find out what a dog likes the best. What their ultimate reward is. Some dogs really like a handful of treats. You know, some dogs like a really, like, intense, you know, obedience class towards the end of their session to make sure that they get a bunch of treats in. That's cool, that's a huge reward for some dogs. Some dogs I attach on a great big 50 foot leash and I let them run around in circles for as long as they want to. 
Um, but him, he prefers affection. Oh, look, there's a bunch of deer. Looky there. Looky there. There's the Louisville Special. Yeah, there you go. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. We have a herd of about six to eight deer that our neighbor here feeds. Good, good, good. In fact, the one, the oldest female that's with them, she um, she consistently produces sets of twins, which is very, very interesting. And I have a theory that it's because our neighbor feeds her bread instead of like deer corn or stuff that they would naturally eat. But anyway, good boy. He didn't care a thing about those deer. Some dogs make them lose their minds, even if they see them all the time. Good boy. He doesn't really have a high prey drive. He doesn't have any like predatory instincts that really stand out. Good boy. There's deer still just standing right over there looking at us. I don't know if you can see them through the woods there. Good boy, Einstein. Nice and easy, baby. Good boy. And one of the reasons I'm letting him kind of drag that lead around. Yeah, there they are. Is because I want him to get used to pulling a little bit of leash with him. Because at some point, when he trusts me enough, and I know he's not going to just try to run from me, I want to put him on the 50-foot lead. Good boy. Good boy. Because, kind of like in your front yard, we need him to know that if you call, I don't care if you're 20 feet, I don't care if you're 5 feet away, I don't care if you're 50 feet away. When I ask you to come to me, come on. Good boy. I know you said he likes to sometimes chase people and chase cars. That 50 foot lead, we're going to teach him that 50 feet away, you still need to come back when you're asked to. Good boy. Good boy. Good job, Einstein. A lot of dogs just dragging a little bit of leash scares them. So I start with this eight foot. Good boy. And then we go for the 50. Good boy. Good boy. Nice and easy, Einstein. I'm just going to pick this up just a little bit. Notice I'm still not pulling on it. Good boy. This is essentially like him being on an eight foot retractable leash that doesn't retract. Good boy. Good boy. He doesn't care about the squirrels. Didn't care about the deer. Good boy. Good boy. I like that you're getting all sorts of exposure to all sorts of different things. That's why I love bringing dogs out here. Good boy. Good job, Einstein. I'm going to let the leash go again. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, you're doing so good. And when we get back up here in my driveway, I'm going to sit down with him on the ground and I'm just going to pet him again and let him know that he did such a good job today because he really did. Good boy. Good boy. This dog likes physical affection more than he likes treats, more than he likes running around in his own free space. When he works real hard, reward him with physical affection. Good boy. Good boy. Nice, calm physical affection. Nothing overly invasive of his personal space. Good boy. A lot of the time, um, people over-exaggerate how much physical affection their dog enjoys. Because I have one dog. He's, he's my second oldest. His name's Titan. Good boy. He was the dog that I rescued that ended up saving me instead. Um, yeah, you know my dog's... Oops, sorry, I dropped the phone there. Hi, sweet pea. Good boy, why aren't you going to sit down, have a little chill out, good boy. And when we get back to the car, when we get in the car, I'll offer him some water. Good boy, but it's not terribly hot right now. Hi, sweet pea. Good job. He likes knowing, good boy. Come here. I'm just going to pat the ground, come here. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. And the reason I didn't reach out and touch him is because I wanted me touching him to be his choice. Good boy. But anyway, when people over-exaggerate how much their dog enjoys being touched, my second oldest dog, Titan, he, um, he likes to snuggle, but only when he wants to. And when he doesn't, he'll just do this thing where he'll lean away from you. And he's like, hmm, yeah, please don't touch me. And that's my job at that point, to respect that personal boundary, 
Just like we don't always want our dog on our lap, our dogs don't always want us to touch them. Good boy. So if you're ever reaching towards Einstein or any dog really and they turn their head away from you, that means they don't want you to touch them right now. But when a dog comes up to you and places their head or part of their body on your hand or on you, that is an invitation from them that says, you can pet me. Good boy. Hi there. Hi there. Yeah, you hear my money penny? You hear my money penny screaming like a banshee? She does do that. That's cool. That's tight and that's barking right there. Good boy, Einstein. I'm just going to hold my hand up. Hi. See how he looked away from my hand? That's cool. That's fine. Totally fine. Totally fine. I won't touch you. Good boy. I'm just going to kind of turn this way so it's... What, do you want to be directly behind me? Come here. Come this way. I'm not going to try to touch him. Yeah, I'm just kind of leading you around this way. Good boy. Because I don't want you right behind me because I'd like to look at you because you're so handsome. Good boy. I'd like to see what you're doing. Good boy. And we're... <laughs> Sorry, the bug in my face. Hi. I'm going to reach out my hand. Look away. Totally fine. If he were to move his head towards my hand, that would be an invitation from him that he wants my attention. Notice he's not doing that. That's okay. I'm not offended. Good boy. Good boy. Nothing? Okay. Good boy. And by not touching our dogs when they're letting us know, do you want to go in the grass? We can go in the grass. That's fine. You're getting a little squirrely. You're getting a little squirrely. There's no need to get squirrely. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So he's a little bit uncomfortable. That's okay. You can be a little bit uncomfortable and still be working. Good boy. Good boy. Hi. Hi. We're not going to wander too far into the woods. We've been gone a weekend and our yard looks like a safari. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. I am going to let him come just a little bit further this way because I don't want him to feel trapped by my dogs barking over there because he can probably tell that they're bigger dogs than him. Good boy. Good boy. Nice and easy. It's okay. See how we stop? Much more calm. Good boy. Good job, Einstein. Good boy. Now we're dragging a stick here. Hi. There you go. Good boy. I'm going to see if I can offer him another treat. I'm also going to see if I can offer him a treat in the car, and then I'm just going to leave it on the back seat if he doesn't take it from me. Good boy. And sometimes with really... Dogs with really refined palates, I, um... Sometimes I use deli meat, but I don't like to use deli meat because it has to be refrigerated. Boop. You're okay. Want that? Okay. No? It's alright. You want it? No? That's fine. Don't need it. boy. Hi. Yeah, you're standing. Good boy. Good sit. Good job, honey. Good. He's sitting. He's nice and calm. Good boy. So now we can get back in the car because that's what he wants. Good boy. Good boy. When a treat is not a reward to a dog, not all dogs want treat as a reward. Excuse me. Not all dogs want treats as their reward. Some dogs really don't care. Good boy. Which can kind of make training difficult. But at the same time, hop up there. 
it's up to us to figure out what is a reward to our dog. Because all dogs are different. Like I was saying, we're dragging a stick again. Hi. Good boy. Good boy. I'm going to get you some water. And I'm going to see if you want another treat.